Hola mi amigos, como esta? Welcome to the Witching Kitchen, where today we're going to make an incredible dessert called Piña Colada Pudding. Oh boy, all the way from Puerto Rico. So that's why we're speaking a little bit of Spanish at the beginning there. Thank you for tuning into our other episodes. We're going to break this one down into three parts again. We're going to start with the pudding, with the fruit topping, and then of course the whipped cream to top it all off with toasted coconut. Let's not waste any more time. This is going to be fantastic. We have our sink water all ready to go. I've got my hands all washed just to make sure cross-contamination, foodborne illnesses, and anything to do with surface problems are all taken care of and we can keep our dishes and our surfaces clean of clutter. The only other thing we need to do before we get started is get our apron on. Let's do that. Perfect. Now we're ready to go. Let's get to it with the ingredients. Now we're ready for our ingredients for step number one, which is the pudding, the coconut pudding. This could also be a double recipe if you think about it. You could also call it this keto crustless coconut cream pie if you want, because it's the same kind of step. And you have a choice here. You don't have to use the sweeteners we do. If you want to use sugar, go ahead and use sugar. If you're hardcore keto, keep the fruit out. Just eat the pudding and the whipped cream. It's so versatile, you can add any kind of fruit you want, any kind of toppings, or just eat it plain. It's the base that is the important because then you can add whatever you want to it, but I want pina colada pudding. So let's start with the ingredients for the coconut pudding. Very simple. Go and grab two cans of coconut milk. Then we're gonna add in about a quarter cup of unsweetened coconut. Unsweetened, very important. We're going to reserve about three tablespoons of this as well because we're going to toast it for the topping. One teaspoon, pure vanilla extract. As I said earlier, you can choose to use normal sugar. I use a stevia erythritol blend. About four teaspoons, that's it. Coconut milk is sweet enough. Just enough. That's it. You'll get more off the coconut as well. Butter, very important for both parts of this recipe. The first part for the pudding, you're going to need a tablespoon of room temperature butter. Three egg yolks, slightly beaten. A teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. And to thicken it all up, you're going to need xanthan gum. About a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a quarter, depending on how the mixture is going. And container to put it in. Utensils, liquid measurer, a whisk spatula and a fork and you're also going to need one other thing and that is some saran wrap and a cooling rack to get it off the surface let's get started now if you've never worked with coconut milk it's kind of tricky you don't want it to splash all over the place i've already got a can in here going already on medium heat and you're going to poke it in and pull it out so that, see that little bit that came out there? You don't want to get splashed with that. Be very, very careful when you do this. Now that we have our coconut milk into the pot here, turn it up to about four or five at the most. You don't want this to burn to the bottom of the pot. So we're going to bring that up to temperature. And while we're doing that, we're going to add in our sweetener. Remember, reserve some of this for later on. So we'll take out that, and we'll add the rest of this into this mixture as well, because then you'll get some more coconut flavor out of that beautiful, pure, unsweetened coconut. Whisk this all in very gently, making sure all that, whatever you use, sugar or sweetener, gets dissolved into the mixture. Now we're gonna keep an eye on this, so it doesn't burn, use some magic and speed things up. So now we're going to temper the eggs. Very important step. We take our mixture of this pudding here, and we have our egg yolks and a fork. The process for doing this is extremely important, and the reason being is because you don't want to scramble those egg yolks very, very gently. Take your mixture and add it very gently, a little bit at a time, while you are stirring these egg yolks. And you're going to temper them. 
you're bringing them slowly up to the temperature of the pudding that you're going to be incorporating them into to thicken it up. Without scrambling the eggs. Because I don't know about you, I don't want scrambled eggs in my pudding. There we go. Now that we have our eggs tempered, it almost looks like a custard in that liquid measure. Now, we're going to add this back to the mixture again. So, over the low heat on the mixture, very slowly, with your whisk, incorporate this back into your pudding. A little bit at a time. And this is really going to thicken it up. There we go. Keep this on low. Look at that. It's thickening it up. And it's cooking the rest of the eggs in there. Perfect. That's beautiful. So we turn this off. We're going to take our mixture and we're going to take it off the stove. Take that butter that I told you about. Remember I told you about that butter? And we're going to add it into here. So, as I said, you're going to need, depending on how creamy and stuff that you want this, about a tablespoon. Right into this mixture. Whisk it all in there. It's going to add even more beautiful texture to this. Now that our butter is all incorporated, as I said earlier, pure vanilla extract, about a teaspoon. So if you don't want to pull out a teaspoon and measure it easy, about a half a cap full. There we go. That goes into this beautiful pudding mixture as well. Whisk it in there. Oh, what a smell. Oh boy, look at that. Look at how incredible that looks. Let's get it in to this beautiful dish here and then cover it with saran wrap so that you don't give it skin. We'll get on to the next part, which is the pineapple topping. Hold on tight. Now it's time to make that beautiful pineapple topping. Important is to remember, use fresh pineapple. Fresh pineapple is so much better for you and you can control that it doesn't taste like the can. And you can take the juice out of it because we're going to make a simple syrup. But not like you normally would think. We're going to use the actual fruit juice out of the actual pineapple. But not the juice from it. I've got in here in my frying pan about a teaspoon of butter. We're going to melt that first. Then we are going to add in the pineapple and caramelize it. Once it's caramelized, we're going to add in just a pinch of that pink Himalayan salt again. It adds a little bit more flavor and just a pinch of organic ground cinnamon. It's going to be so good. Let's show you what that looks like. Look at how good that looks. Isn't that nice? As you can see, we've got a nice little sauce going on in there. 
And now we're going to start to break down the chunks a bit. You know, cut them into smaller pieces, almost like a jam or a relish. So let's do that. Then we're going to add in xanthan gum. A quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum to this and a pinch of that ground cinnamon. And then it'll be finished. Let's finish this up. Look at how beautiful that is. That's the topping we're going to use. We're going to put it into a seal tight glass container and let it cool down without the lid on it. Again, put some saran wrap over top so it doesn't get a skin. Then we're going to put it all together and taste it. So the last thing we need to do is finish off the toasted coconut. You're going to put this pan here on medium heat because you don't want to burn it, but you're going to release the oils of that coconut. You're going to take those three tablespoons I said to reserve and put them in here. Nothing else, just coconut into the pan. Move it around and toast it up. Let's do that now. All right, it's time to taste this incredible piña colada pudding. Or if you don't want to put the fruit on it, you can call it, hey, why not crustless coconut cream pie? But this is what it turned out like. Look at those layers. You can see right there the pineapple, toasted coconut, all that pudding. This is going to be fantastic. And like I said earlier, if you don't want the fruit, just eat the pudding and the whipped cream. If you don't want the whipped cream, then just eat the pudding. Add whatever kind of fruit you want on the top. The base is the pudding. It's the best part. But as always, we got to share it with a friend. And I always got to share this with my friends, so let's bring in my friend. Hey! Hey, how are you? I'm good. We've got dessert? Yes, we have dessert today. What have we got today? This is piña colada pudding. Ooh, I like piña coladas. Yeah, without the alcohol. And keto style. So, keto whipped cream like way back at the pumpkin pie mm -hmm. first one we did? Yeah. Check episode, that out. Episode one. Yeah. There's the recipe for the whipped cream and then we toasted some pure unsweetened coconut. Mm -hmm. Used some coconut milk to make this wonderful pudding and then fresh pineapple to make the topping. Mmm. What do you think? I think it looks wonderful. Let's take a taste. Let's taste it. Oh boy. Mm. Doesn't that taste just mm -hmm. like it? Unreal. Not bad, eh? This is amazing. I'm glad you like it. And thank you again for tuning in to The Witch in Kitchen. Hey, what you doing? Something smells good. Ah, uh, hey, I'm toasting coconut. Toasting? Yeah. Where's the toaster? Tell me you're kidding me, right? Like, tell me you're pulling my ass. No, we're toaster for what? You put toast in the toaster. No, no. You put bread in a toaster and then it comes out as toast. It's magic. Oh, it's a toaster. No, it's not a... <laughs> oh, please give me the strength. Oh my God, why, why? Okay. I'm not a chef, you know? I don't know this stuff. <laughs> You're, I know you're not a chef, but you, you don't put co you don't put coconut in a toaster. 
I use a toaster. If I'm toasting, I use a toaster. No, 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 no. You do it on the stove. Okay. I believe you. Don't forget, subscribe. And like and share with all your friends. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon. So you stay updated on all your videos. And remember, the viewer challenge is out there. Send in a picture or a short video mm -hmm. of somebody tasting one of our recipes. And we'll put it in the video and show people what you think. Mm -hmm. So thank you again for coming out and joining me. And I hope you like that. Thank you again for feeding me. Oh, well. I like food. <laughs> so do I. So thank you again, everybody. Have yourself a smiley, happy day. Bye for now. Bye.